Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the new Marvel Legends Black Widow movie version of Taskmaster. And before we even get into it, I'm just curious, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you interested in this movie and or this version of the character? I know a lot of people are kind of not interested in Black Widow because she already, spoiler alert, died but uh, the movie looks like it might be okay who knows and a lot of people like this character but maybe not the live action version so let's discuss that in the comment section below i am kind of indifferent either way it looks like a cool enough design and it makes for a cool enough figure and that's all we're really concerned about here so this guy is a pretty good figure overall there's a lot of stuff to like about it a few things we have to discuss but all in all it's pretty solid so let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look this guy stands just about six and a half 16 and a half centimeters which makes him pretty close to six and a half inches first glance this guy looks gorgeous there's tons of sculpt work on here as is almost always the case with the movie figures they just really jam all the details in there that's not always a good thing because they tend to make these before the movies come out and the designs in the movies end up changing but as you can see this guy depending on how accurate or not it is we'll never know at least not for a while so we will at some point know um, which is the opposite of never. Anyway, lots of detail, lots and lots of sculpted detail. It's very clean. The paint job complements it wonderfully. Now I understand that they may or may not have more budget for the movie figures. That still shows what they're capable of. Like clean lines are clean lines. It shouldn't affect the budget all that much. It's the same factory producing these figures as far as I can tell. But you can just see how nice and clean this figure is. Even where they painted white on the blue, it's not great, but it's not bad. That orange trim around there, very clean. All in all, very aesthetically figure, aesthetically figuring figure, pleasing figure. I uh, I have not been sleeping. My allergies have been going nuts, and I just can't sleep. And I apologize for my lack of coherence. Anywho, it's a really clean figure. Definitely less interesting on the back. Very interesting on the front. I will give it an overall rating of. I'm gonna say 8 out of 10. It's really solid, definitely clean. As far as accessories go, we have kind of a lot. We have the two fist hands which come on them in the package, uh, a gripping slash shooting pair of hands with a trigger finger, which it's a bow, so that seems a little odd, but that's what we get. Some Black Panther type hands, I guess we'll see in the movie. Uh, we have a sword, which is a very unique design, looks kind of cool. We have a shield, which is a baby shield, little tiny shield. It's clean enough, clean. God, clean enough painted, cleanly enough painted. It's got a clean paint job on it, and then we have his bow, which is not functional, obviously it's on a string or anything like that, but it looks good enough, and the removable arrow is okay. I do wish it snapped in rather than just sitting there, but still, not a bad batch of accessories. I'll give it an eight out of 10 for that as well. Very nice batch of accessories. And now it's time for the articulation, where this guy doesn't necessarily shine, but it's not necessarily a problem. The head does have a hood permanently connected to it. Obviously that will cause some limitation. You still get enough rotation for most poses. Looking up, yeah, not really gonna work. Looking down, a little bit, but again, yeah, not really. You have to, you have to expect limitations when you have something like this, and I think that's fine. It's understandable. Yeah, they could get around it, I don't think that's really an issue. Would it be nicer if it was better? Absolutely. Is it something to expect or even say it should be there? I don't think so. Not at this price point. Not given everything else we have here. If that was the only thing there, then maybe. For the shoulders, we have our standard ball hinge, which is on top of a butterfly, which we'll get to in a second. But the hinge itself, not the best in the world. It's almost horizontal, but it's not there. They did a good job considering he does have the shoulder armor on there, and I think that's fine. Now, as far as the butterfly joint goes, I'm curious to know if any of you have this figure and it actually functions. On mine, it doesn't function at all. You can see, though, even if it did, there's really no place for it to go on the front. And on the back, there's a little bit of room. But, again, mine doesn't function. And this arm is completely frozen. I can't rotate it at all. This side has the bicep swivel that works. That's okay. Double jointed elbow. A little bit stiff, that's what she said, but still works just fine. Be careful, <laughs> don't do that. I mean, you can do it if you want to. The, they do have the reverse bending elbows on this guy, which is fine. Extra range never hurt anybody, but pay attention as you're posing it. You don't want it like this on the shelf. That's no good. He's not a transformer. We do have a swivel and a hinge in the wrist. That's fine. Ab crunch, this is one of those parts where it's just really bad. Really bad, look at that ab crunch. Is he, maybe he is a transformer, I'm not sure. What is going on? How did they have such trouble designing ab crunches? And if so, 
Stop designing ab crunches. A goofy looking, not the best range. Well, going forward is okay, but not going back. Waist twist is okay. Floaty belt is floaty. The legs don't come all the way forward, but they do come forward a bit, so that's okay. They do go back a bit. That'll help in some posing out to the side. That's really nice. Still better than most Spidey figures. Thigh swivel is fine. Nicely hidden. Double jointed knees. Nicely done. No boot swivel. Looks like you might have one, but you don't. Ankles do go all the way back and eh, forward enough. I think that's okay. And you get a decent enough uh, ankle rocker out of that swivel hinge. He does have baby feet, definitely on the bucky cap side of the scale of feet, but that's the way it goes. So articulation wise, like I said, it's not perfect and it's not his strong suit, but it's definitely good enough in most cases. I think most people will be satisfied. So I'll give it a seven, which means we've gotten an eight, an eight and a seven on this guy. I'm gonna say the final verdict for this guy is an eight. I'm gonna go ahead and just round up to eight. I think anybody who's interested in buying this and who does decide to buy it will be pleased enough. Maybe not 100% absolutely enthralled, but it's gonna look good on a shelf. You're gonna enjoy posing it. It's gonna look good posed. Not a whole lot to say that's bad about this guy. So if you are into Marvel Legends, this is one you might want to add to your collection if you're not against buying movie figures. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to because I've got thousands and thousands of videos already on the channel and new ones coming out just about every day whenever there's enough stuff for me to review to make that happen. Uh, and that's about it. So come back for all that good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.